how to fix CE343358 error on your PlayStation or PlayStation Pro. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Genie Guide and in today's guide video, I will simply show you how you can fix if your PlayStation says CE343358 error. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first of all, what this error generally means is that you have to understand that this isn't a software related issue. According to PlayStation or according to the official PlayStation Network site themselves, they mentioned that the CE343358 error occurs when your PlayStation is not being able to detect a hard drive or a HDD drive on your PlayStation disk. So which means that your hard drive could have been corrupted or it simply you might need to replace your hard drive. So it could be a couple of reasons why so when you turn on your playstation you suddenly see that kind of error that is because your playstation is not being able to read the drive as well which is on your playstation so the very first thing i would recommend you do is to simply turn off your playstation 4 console in order to turn off your playstation go to the power button and then simply select power options and over here simply select turn off playstation 4 and you might want to unplug the power cord and then remove the top cover of your power cord as well turn off your playstation go ahead and unplug your power cord and hopefully that will fix the issue and other thing you also want to do is to simply check whether your HDD is properly installed for example if you recently replaced your hard drive you have to make sure that the technician or just anyone who just fixed your PlayStation actually install the hard drive properly onto your PlayStation or your PS4 console check if that is not the issue as well and if you are still experiencing issues the HDD could be corrupted or faulty and or your console may be in need some some service and in that case the final result is to simply take it to a nearby repair store or to a nearby repair station so go ahead and see however one thing i might also just want you to do is to simply go to settings and you can simply reset your playstation go to initialization and i will select initialize ps4 and you could simply do a full wipe and then simply confirm the changes by selecting initialize hopefully one of these would have helped solve the issue and at least give you some insights as to why this happens we hope the video helped you in either way and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video